while we're traveling, Eliza found time to refurbish her weapon. Apparently so. It looks better. It looks less worn now. Why don't she just, like, cold blued it? What's her mission? I don't remember. I somehow have picked up 15,000 rounds of ammunition. I'm sorry, I'm a, I'm a tad deaf in my left ear. I thought you were going to shoot it like you normally do. These things are like freaking Ford Pintos when they explode. Uh, no, you just got to give them a wide berth. <laughs> just like the Ford Pinto. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it knocked all the books off the shelf at retroactively. <laughs> Can't undo all of that. Yes. Good God! <laughs> Still not a lot oh enough. Oh my her. God! <laughs> it says "fuck you" behind it. <laughs> Bad news. Well, <laughs> tactically it worked. Okay. Everybody's dead, but. Yeah, probably shouldn't have done what I just did. What's in this room, anyway? Well, I wanted to know what was in here, and it turns out I super didn't want to know what was in here. <laughs> Let's just pretend we didn't find this group of slaves. It would probably ruin the surprise. <laughs> yeah, I consider myself an excellent judge character, friend. I have a skill for reading people and making informed wagers. I bet you do. I told Mr. Marino that you were going to be an asset. I told him that he shouldn't saddle you with busy work. Regardless, he's seen the error of his ways and we're ready to move forward. And it just so happens that I have the perfect job for you. Is breast fondler an occupation? Because <laughs> if it is, I'm your man! Mike Breast Fondler? <laughs> From the Federal Bureau of Investigation. The Fondler of Breasts Incorporated. <laughs> you remember Frank Doyle? He was an ex-ranger turned gun for hire. No. Such a sad ending for such an insignificant organism. Talking about him, right? You're gonna kill him? Not us, right? I can never tell with you! <sighs> so hang on. Oh, Root! I waited for you, dick! Well, you killed Mr. Doyle ways back. Cleared him and his whole crew out of some derelict barn out of Vegas. What? Of work. You've killed so many people, I don't remember. Now, I don't begrudge you killing Doyle. Not one bit. But, be that as it may, it's caused a little, uh, problem to crop up. Vengeful children. See, Doyle and his boys were fairly reasonable, as far as raiders go. They let me conduct my business in outer Vegas without interference. I'm entirely comfortable with paying bribes and protection money when needed. I understand how to do business. And so did Doyle. He was actually a great help for my interests without ever knowing it. His crew kept the fiends in that area under control. But with all of them dead, there's the vacuum that's opened up. Ah. And some fiend war chief stepped in to fill it. I tried to pay him off. He had my messenger tied down and sliced open. Then he shoved his arm into my employee's still living entrails. Is he okay now? If he can't be paid off, he'll just need to be removed, and you're more than qualified to do the removing. He calls himself Krieg, and he's apparently rather infamous in West Side because of his, uh, perchance for chainsaw and living captives. Oh, yeah. another one of those. And he's, uh, what's the politically correct nomenclature? Uh, a psychopath? A uh, retard strong? No, that is <laughs> Like an ox. He's a seven-foot-tall mongoloid cannibal, and he'll tear your arms off and beat you to death with him if he gets close to you. High five! Ow, ow. I don't know how old he is, where he comes from, or how inbred he is. All I know for certain is that he's the very worst kind of problem. He's the kind that can't be bought off. We'll go see how quickly he immediately starts shooting at us. <laughs> Maybe, it, yes. What happened to your hat, Eliza? What? <laughs> Did it get blown up and not make the journey? <laughs> Eliza, what happened to your hat? <laughs> Where is it? It got blown up. Uh, with the portable air compressor. Oh, yeah, we're going to get one of them. Somewhere. Like ow, that? ow, ow! We didn't solicit that. Stop it. Yeah, that's a... Yeah. yeah. And in we go. Soul and Sons. 
I've been waiting Welcome for to Shaolin, sons. We've got the finest in blood, <laughs> beer, <laughs> more beer. <laughs> oh my god. This dead guy? Show yourself. Oh, we're not done yet? Wow, that's... Mm. They pretty much... Oh, he did say he shoved his hand through the guy's entrails. You guys... Oh! Oh my god, it's Krieg! We were informed he would be here! <laughs> Why are you using a laser sword again? Because I ran out of ammo for my assault rifle. Reload faster! Oh my god, that was intense. Christ, how does someone even get that fucked up? Glad to help put him in the dirt. I was not fully prepared for that. What the? Oh, that's one way to dispose of a corpse. Yeah, for once, I don't really feel too bad about killing somebody. It happens occasionally. I don't feel like... Did they kill a child? No, they brought that corpse from home. Yes, they killed a child! Okay, this is fine. That no. was more normal. Oh, Eliza! Shit, I'm sorry. <sighs> Mother. <laughs> Appropriate reaction. Oh, this, uh... This corpse right here is apparently listening to uh, WAP. Making that booty shake, yep. Oh god. <laughs> Look what the feet are doing. Oh, it's toe tapping good music! Of course, that's where your eyes are drawn. Shut up! <laughs> I knew I knew I knew I shouldn't have said anything. I knew I shouldn't have said anything. You make it too easy! That's where it was gonna go to. That's what Oh man, you're gonna need a lot more than this mop bucket. <laughs> Let's report back to Sullivan and let him know that the Fiend Leader is dead. And there will be no more rising up at his departure. No, surely this won't result in the owl, for God's sake. Oh no, the power vacuum started early. Ooh, that's kind of a cool helmet. Hmm, neat. That's pretty cool. It's an NCR Ranger helmet. With a bandana around it for some reason, even though it's a helmet and it won't actually... What? Who the hell is this guy? Oh, <laughs> a dead bounty hunter. 9mm auto compact pistol? Oh! Is it a Glock 19? It's a, yeah, it's a Glock 18. It's a fully auto? Oh, this one is actually an 18. <laughs> ah, someone flipped the selector switch on this one! <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna use this for a couple seconds. <laughs> Alright. We'll, we'll use this against the next guy we see, even though it's a, it's not gonna go well because it only holds 19 rounds. <laughs> what the? The hell is that? It's my third favorite pistol. Oh my god. <laughs> you found an Obrez? <laughs> yeah. What is wrong with you? <laughs> You're gonna make us all go deaf the moment you shoot that thing. Hey yo. What can I do for you? Reward us. Krieg is dead. Outstanding work, friend. Rather shame about that old saloon, I suppose. Uh, the owner saw it would host events on my behalf from time to time. How badly trashed was the interior? Um, <laughs> before or after we shot the jukebox? Place was filled to the brim with corpses of butchered innocence, you sick bastard. Well, you have to keep in mind, I haven't seen any of this. I was just asking. <laughs> yeah, Zach. I understand if you're a little upset. After all, you must be having those nagging little thoughts about all that blood is on your hands. But they're fiends, but no. I mean... It is true that Krieg was only able to operate with impunity because he killed Doyle. I imagine that must be weighing real heavy on you. Oh, don't you dare try and turn this on us! Regardless, we have more work to do, and don't worry. I don't blame you for what Krieg did. Anyway, let me know if you want more work. I do want more work. Also, we'd like to know more about you because you're a little sketchy. So what's the deal with you and Vincent? Yeah, that Marino guy seems sketch too. He's a reliable business partner, reliable enough that I forgive his complete and utter disregard for class and decorum. Uh-huh. Is it really necessary to swear every time he opens his mouth? Fuck yeah. Regardless, he provides an ample amount of discreet thugs on the rare occasions that I may need them. More often, he sends me women folk. Once their addictions become too problematic for the management, they need to go somewhere after all. Oh, and you opened up a rehabilitation center? As it happens, the... Look, clientele don't really care if their whores are strung out or, uh, hygienic. Ah. So that's gross, and you're a horrible human being, and I kind of don't want to do work for you anymore, but we're going to keep doing work for you, because we're interested to see where this goes. Yeah, where are you from? Well, I was born in the great state of Georgia, far to the east of here. 
It was a violent cutthroat place and much harder than here in the Mojave. I bet it was uphill both ways. Vegas types think they have a monopoly on heat, but humidity is another matter entirely. What's the East Coast like? I've what? heard terrible things. Also, I've experienced terrible things. Mike's been there. I ate my sister. <laughs> it's an uh, untamed sort of place for the most part. None of these pleasantries we take for granted here. Uh, clean water, power, plentiful food, and, and strange, strange people. Without all the trappings of modern civilization, they've, uh, well, I don't know what to call it beyond simple insanity. Mm -hmm. There are lunatic cults who worship radiation. I swear to you, I'm not making that up. I once met an individual who purported to be a vampire. <laughs> Fucking era food. I even heard a rumor that <laughs> somehow the Massachusetts wasteland doesn't even have prostitution. Not a single sex worker. Can you imagine? I don't believe it. There are a scattered handful of dismal little townships all around, but no lines of communication and certainly no one producing anything. The only people east of the Mississippi that are actually producing new resources are the denizens of a place called the Pit. I considered settling myself there, but from what I hear, it's a slaver dictatorship. Much like what you might find in Arizona these days. Yeah, it ain't fun. Madness and poor breeding all around. I'm quite content in my choice to move on to more urbane pastures. <laughs> you couldn't say greener because it's a desert. <laughs> so how'd you end up here? Traveling caravans were just about the only modern convenience they had in that place. I resolved to buy my way onto one and get out fast. There was this junk girl who lived nearby, uh, Tanya. She was completely addled, without the slightest inkling of what was happening around her. Well, I told the caravan hands that, and if they would take me as far west as they would go, I'd allow them all to take turns with her. Well then. Tanya was too stoned to protest, and... Caravan workers all took me at my word, and I managed Tanya's services. Along the way, we were stopped by raiders, intent on cutting our throats and making off with our loot. I can't tell which is the bad guy in this scenario. Well, first, they killed a hand named Dominic. I don't like him very much, so I don't hold it against them. <laughs> yeah. But they were going to do the same to the rest of us, and, well, I like living. So I asked them why didn't they ambush us sooner. They explained that their rickety little bridge was all the territory they had, and I offered to help them. I told them, we'd be happy to serve as bait for the other regional gangs. While they extorted us, our captors would flank them. Huh. We did just that, and our new friends reaped the spoils of all their dead rivals. And they became our loyal guards. What a strange turn of events. When we parted ways, they were the strongest gang in the region. And the caravan boss gave me all the caps he had for getting them out alive. Those gangs are probably keeping each other occupied. Now that you've let one rise to prominence, they'll dominate and kill to their heart's content. Yeah. How'd you get through Legion territory? Let me guess. Sold women. Without much trouble, as it were. I don't use chems. I have no interest in male sodomy. I'm obviously not from the NCR, and I'm not a woman. The Legion really didn't have any interest in me, and that serves me just fine. Okay, that's enough of that. It was a nice office, by the way. And I like the little robot things. I mentioned that earlier. Why, thank you. I oversaw the renovations myself. I would have preferred a penthouse location, but this does the job quite nicely, I think. I'm sure you noticed the power armor. The jewel of my collection, that piece. I purchased it from an associate. I noticed it, yes. Apparently he bought it from some high-end invite-only merchant. Hidden up northwest of ways. Uh, all very clandestine and exciting. So it's not yours. Now the flowers are in. I had them important from one of the local vaults. Excuse me, I'm sure you aren't interested in my rambling. Uh, vault flowers? Wait a second. Was there anything else? Yo, let's go back to the vault flowers. Oh, they're dandelions. Never mind. They're, okay, okay. Any miscellaneous nonsense you need taken care of? Well, it's a small job, and I wouldn't usually delegate it to someone of your skill set, but since you asked, I need someone to pick up a package for me and most likely crack a skull or two in the process. Uh, you interested? That sounds fun. Does it mean I get to try out my new Glock? Sounds like it. Let's do it. Well, I'm not sure if you're just bored or fishing for a raise or you're deeply offended by subpar work, but consider me impressed. He actually is, yeah. Yes, all right. There's an area directly outside of North Vegas that, well, I own. I have camslingers, whores, and pornographers there, all giving me a cut of the profit. 
well, except the pornographer recently. For some reason, I've yet to see a single cat from that hack director this week. I have a man who should be handling it, and yet... First step is to see what the holdup is with the last man I sent to deal with this. He should be operating in an old apartment in North Vegas. I expect bad things. He is expandable, so feel free to kill him if you find yourself offended by his excuses. I won't extend protection to a useless employee. Does that include us? I look forward to seeing you when this is dealt with. Oh boy, let's go extort somebody! Well, first we're gonna beat up the guy that was supposed to extort somebody, and then we're gonna go extort somebody. <laughs> it's gonna be a full day! Oh. Red Light Street. There's a red light, alright. Yeah. <laughs> a couple of them. Um, oh! Here we go. This must be where we're going. Oh, well, no, first we gotta go shake down that guy. I wanna stop in the strip club first! We're going to the strip club in a minute, Mike! Oh, fine. Alright, so we gotta shake this guy down and find out why he didn't do what he was supposed to do. Where's the loser who failed to do his job? Uh, probably in these derelict apartments. Let's go. So, a guy from North Vegas is fucking his sister, and she laughs and says, You fuck just like Dad does. And he says, Yeah, I know. Mom told me. <laughs> the aristocrats! To be fair, I think I've heard that one before. I kind of like this New jacket. Vegas. Paradise my ass. You might be the guy I'm supposed to talk to. Hello. You Sullivan's guy? We're one of his guys. Yeah, that's me. What's the issue? The issue is that dickhead director type. I went to collect the cash and he told me to go fuck myself. But that just won't do. I told him that he got five seconds to pay up and he had some big mutant fucker throw me on the street. Oh. I mean, what am I supposed to do? Get my spine broken over some giant green cocksucker's knee? Look, I've done all I can here, okay? Only other idea I got is to firebomb the fucking studio, and that'd torch the money. Yeah, it'll work. So, you know, we're good, right? It's made of metal. Metal still melts, Zack. All right, fine, whatever. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, of course, don't worry. You can tell the boss I'm still good to collect from anyone else. Thanks, man. Yeah, sure, whatever, man. Just keep doing what you do. Okay, Mike, now we can go to the porn studio. All right, let's shake this guy down and make him pay the money he owes. I thought you wanted to go to the porn studio to look at the porn. We can do two things at once! Aw, look, they're happy. That's two seconds before they start bending each other over. That's crude. <laughs> you the big dude that threw the other guy out? I'm glad mean son of a bitch is on our side. Hey, how's it going? We're here to shake you down for money! Hey, baby. You lonely? Nope. I can keep you company if you like. Time for me to go. Later. Bye. What's this? Upcoming features. All titles and synopses listed are purely speculative and not guaranteed for the final product. With this in mind, keep this fucking list on set at all times. We don't need to repeat the incident in Freeside. Coming soon, Naughty Ranger captured by Legionary 7. Ranger Chief Handjob gets herself into a sticky situation when she's captured by Legion Boys for the seventh time. Oh man, I'm more looking forward to Date with a Deathclaw 3. No animals were hard in the making of this film. The erotic adventures of Dongo Hot, the more than equal sequel. Or the Odyssey of Spulysses, a very, very, very long erotic epic. It's very long. Just like my schlong. Caesar's nether region. <laughs> Find out just what Caesar does with all those nubile young slave girls. This is distasteful. Please throw the negatives into a garbage fire. <laughs> yeah. The last seduction of Christ. Jesse Christ just can't stop sitting. Also co-starring the Mastodonic mutant in a special guest role as Judas Dixcariot. <laughs> That's blasphemous. <laughs> The Legend of Al Breastreach, part sixer, McDixer, <laughs> slurp my elixir. <laughs> the legend returns for this family unfriendly romp through the Mojave with plenty of mustache rides for everyone. Mm, or the Siege of Camp Horlon Hope. Can the battle hardened NCR girls survive a surprise Legion assault? Or will Lanius' forces penetrate their tight defenses? This one uh, might also be in poor taste, please advise. The Cunt of Monte Cristo! No. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, we're gonna stop this guy from making all these bad films. Blasphemy is not allowed on my watch, goddammit! 
Uh, I see they're film. I'm s I see you're filming. I'm sorry. We'll come back. Oh, you know what? No, there's no light on, so that means they're not actually filming. Hello! Fiends don't come here no more, they say. I've never seen a legionary wear glasses before, so already <laughs> your premise is unbelievable. <laughs> How you, about you, lady? Are you supposed to be ghost? Hey, it's great what you're doing for the thorn. Way to go. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. And it's great what you're doing for the born! <laughs> the fuck you won. Can't you see I'm busy here? Benny Alberta! You busy collecting the interest for your debt to Roy Sullivan? What the fuck, Asshole! I don't know who the fuck you think you are, but I ain't paying Roy one more cap, you hear me? I can finance my own films, okay? I don't need that prick collecting a cut when he doesn't do a goddamn thing. I have a movie idea. I shove that camera right up your ass, sideways, and see what wonders we find. You're a very persuasive negotiator. I've, I've reconsidered my position on paying Mr. Sullivan. That's good. <laughs> Here you go. Every single cap. And you can tell Mr. Sullivan that I'll never be late. Uh, ever again. Ever. Sorry for making you come all the way down here. It, it, it won't happen again. Thank you. <laughs> oh, by the way, I got this Glock I wanted to try out. What the you hell? dirty coward. Legion! Legion! No, oh, come on! What do you have? Rotface's new suit! So that's where that went! That's where it went to! Alright, everybody, you can go back to work. Have fun making your porno, boys. I'll be back down later with sandwiches. <laughs> Don't work too hard! Ah, do you like my puns? Luke was never stuck in carbonite, Mike. Whatever. It was. Huh. <laughs> Okay. Um, Looks like there's a party going on in here. What the hell is this? Oh, look, there's an orgy. Oh, this is Al. Hurt all over. I I hurt all over is not something you want to hear from a porn from a porn actor. So hot, so visceral. <laughs> you are perfection realized, baby. Protect and serve. Oh, that was out of character. <laughs> this will be the hottest tape to ever hit New Vegas. I'm sure it will. Oh yeah, baby. Daddy is feeling it. <laughs> what kind of stars we got here on the bed? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to wake you up. Are you Janet's body double? Some cons got cornered in the ruins of Boulder City. I'll assume yes. A bunch of radios. This robot is... <laughs> Holding a radio. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, baby. I love your circuitry. <laughs> Let's leave. You don't want to join the pile? No. Come on, crossover episode. Nope. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what do we got? What do we got? You leave them alone. Let's participate. <sighs> Hooray, we saved your life. You owe us money, I guess. Yeah, give me money now that I saved your life. That guy with the shotgun just ran away. He was like, nope, I'm out. Oh, he can't shoot straight. He's drunk, remember? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. What can I do for you? They won't be holding out on you again. See, this is why you're my favorite employee. You get things done, you're efficient, and you're willing to do tedious busy work. Here's your cut of the take and a snazzy hat just because I appreciate a good work ethic. Oh boy, a hat! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just a hat. It's just a fedora. <laughs> All right, work with pride. Mmm, <laughs> lady. Ever been to the strip, Eliza? <laughs> yeah, like right now? Would it surprise you if I said I have? Of course, I'm imagining you're surprised because I don't seem rich, rather than something condescending about me, personally. That being the case, you'd be right. I don't have the money to front a legitimate visit to the strip. What I do have is a forged passport. Got that from Mick? So yeah, I've been to the strip a few times. Ultralux is full of pervert clowns and rich NCR fucks. Yep. The tops is what would happen if the kings were even more annoying and self-absorbed. Yup. And Gamora is full of liquor, chems, and titties. Yes. Guess which one is my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> the, the Gamora. So what do you think about the powder gangers? Those fucking morons? I didn't know they were important enough to even warrant an opinion. Don't get me wrong. I have a certain admiration for anyone who'll say fuck you to the NCR in such a explosive fashion. But... These idiots get their freedom, and what do they do? Run away? Turn their life around? Assume new identities? 
No, they stay in prison and do everything they possibly can to get the NCR's attention again. Yeah, they're not smart. So, my opinion is that they're the dumbest sons of bitches in the entire Mojave. I mean, they're not really even worth the ammo it takes to put them down. Yeah, it'd really do the world a favor if all their dynamite just spontaneously exploded for no reason. But then we couldn't use it. Hmm, where do you think they get their explosives? I have no idea. Nah, too much work. Bullets aren't that expensive. Well, if you're gonna use 545, they might be pretty rare. You don't know, she might have just a huge stockpile of it. Where's she keeping it? Tell me your secrets, Eliza. Where are you hiding your bullets? The same place you hide all yours. In my pocket? She's got pockets? Which is strange, because she's a girl. I didn't think girls were allowed to have pockets. They are allowed to have <laughs> pockets. The purse industry has collapsed after the Great War. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Mr. Peterson! This is your 9 o'clock wake-up call! Also, as your, uh, landlord, I want to advise you, your building needs repair. 